Well, I can't, like it was like midday. I had a, I don't know what exactly it was, but I had like a tussle with someone, a friend that I knew. His other friends, I like, say, hey, do you want to go to trampoline? I said, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? So I went there, thought it would cheer me up, like, because I, I needed it. It was, it was fun. And then the guy, I'm not going to say his name, but um, the guy who was kind of bullying me erupted from the bushes uh, in the garden. He acted like everything was fine. I was a little bit shook at first. I was like, oh, like what, what is this? I was kind of like scared a little bit there. And so, yeah, he, um, he came from the bushes and then he just kind of uh, joined in on the trampoline, like nothing happened. And then he pushed me directly off the trampoline, uh, full off, so I went back first onto the ground, hit my head, because he had like a chicken house, something like that, hit my head on the uh, wood fence that was guarding it. Uh, that, I remember that hurting, like, uh, kind of a lot. Yeah, like, when I first got to the ground, I kind of expected it, but I didn't know exactly, like, what to do with that sense. I just kind of laughed and walked away. At this point, I was like, 13 years old to about 20 stone so um, I was kind of an easy target uh, being bullied. What I remember faintly is me kind of like because I was an easy target because I was like unconfident me screaming crying running around thing as he chased me calling me names everything like that like it was kind of a difficult experience. Yeah what he was he was just repeatedly kicking me in the head um, kicking me not doing anything saying like you know you're a piece of shit is this is what you like her and everything like that thinking that i enjoyed this because like i would what i would do with bullies is i'll just kind of laugh it off and whatever kind of jokes they would make i'll just kind of laugh with it you know and it was just saying like you know like this is what you like her like she started kicking me throwing my head against the wall which was kind of like do you know like them um them walls that are like with sharp rocks in them uh yeah he was kind of banging my head against them Hope, saying he, he hopes I bleed and everything like that, I kind of did. <laughs> and um, I just remember um, he was, the, the, probably the most traumatic part is that there was an axe right beside, right beside us. And he looked at that and I, w I was thinking he was actually going to get the axe and actually hit me. He looked at it momentarily and he just kind of ignored it afterwards but for that split second I actually thought I was going to be hit by that axe and I was actually going to die. Um, yeah, kind of <laughs> traumatic, kind of like one of them heart, heart stop moments. So I was bullied pretty much for as long as I can remember really. It started out at home, like with my brother, just like, started out small. I think he was quite jealous. Then he started like taking it out on me in more of like a physical way, instead of just like calling me names and stuff like that. And then that carried on pretty much until I was about 13 when he eventually got kicked out for threatening to beat the shit out of my mum. And then it was at school as well. He wasn't physically violent to me at school, but he um, told people things about me that weren't necessarily true which then of course people believed and then he'd tell it to his friends that were in his year and then they'd tell it to their little brothers and sisters that were in my year and of course the more people's mouths it went through like the more twisted and weird and like untrue it got and then everyone obviously believed him over me because he was older and everyone knew him more and things just carried on like that until I pretty much left school. I always had friends but like as the years went on the friendship group got smaller and smaller until I had like two or three friends left by the time I'd finished my GCSEs and left school. I think to begin with, he was quite jealous because he was, he's the eldest child, he was the one that was like in the centre of attention for the first three, four years of his life. And then I came along and that obviously got taken away from him. He spent a lot of time in his bedroom, which like no, nobody went in apart from him. And then I remember my sister was born right as I started secondary school. And um, we were in quite a small house, so I had to move into his room. It wasn't my room, it was his room. And I was only allowed to sleep in there. I had to go in there at, say, 10 o'clock at night, just go straight to sleep, wake up in the morning, leave straight away. All my stuff was kept in the kitchen because there was nowhere else that I could go, really. That was like my little area was the kitchen. I didn't have my own room, didn't really have much until he got kicked out. And we had a couple of years there. 
we all moved early on there. My parents didn't really seem to care about what was happening. I think they knew. They just sort of swept it under the rug and pretended like everything was okay. Um, my brother was quite clever, like with the way he did it. Like there wasn't anything on my arms, on my legs, on my face. It was all like around my chest area. So like no matter like what I was wearing at school, like it would always be hidden. And then um, remember in primary school we went through like a lot of like entire family like counselling. And that sounds really dumb, but it didn't really do much apart from make things worse. Um, my brother and my stepdad never. I don't remember the single time where they ever got along. Like my stepdad. He works with a lot of young offenders, and my brother's just did. And um, I remember one time, my brother was getting quite out of control. Like, he was beating me. Shit. And um, my stepdad just sort of came in and, like, put him on the floor, if you get what I mean. Like, and they fought physically for quite a while. I remember it was a good hour. And I was just sat upstairs with my mum. Like we were just sat, we weren't talking or doing. We were just sat there listening to what was happening. 